Right, we're going to have a look at something a bit more pimp. Uh, can you tell us what this is? Yep, uh, this is the GMP M4 Viper. Uh, we've actually had these made uh, specifically for ourselves with uh, the Magpul branded lower as well. Cool. Um, it actually comes with everything that's on it. Um, so it does come with the red dot sight and the forward grip as well. Uh, they come in a couple of different sizes as well, uh, either the short or the long barrel. Um, and they're very nice and uh, solid. Red system's pretty unique, yeah. Uh, I like yeah, that. Very unique. Um, and the fact that it comes forward to the front sight as well. Um, so, uh, so you get your torches and everything there. So much, Lasers, yeah. that's pretty cool. Wrist, so. Yeah, nice. Let's take this and have a closer look at it then. Alright, we're back in the warehouse here with the Viper. That's one of the things that caught my attention pretty much straight away. It's awesome looking. I really like this front rail system. It's pretty unique. In fact, this front rail system will probably cost you about £150 on its own. Uh, Voltor flash header, this thing is pimped out like crazy. Uh, Voltor upper and the Magpul lower receiver. Uh, that's really neat. I really like that. The only thing that's missing out of this is a PMAG or an EMAG or something. Uh, the fact this comes with the red dot sight, which is worth about £40 itself, and the riser for the red dot, again, is worth about £40 as well. That's really cool, you're getting your value for money. This retails for about £450, you can check this out on the website and the link's in the description below. Uh, pretty neat. Oh yeah, another thing to mention is the battery's housed inside the stock tube, which is pretty unique. That gives you the full travel movement on your, uh, your stock there. I really like it. Fancy myself one of these. Okay, so this uh, this particular Masada was the first one, so it's a 0010 number. Yeah, so it's, it's the, the very first one very in the first, world or the uh, UK? Yeah, the world. Or? Then the world, well. This was oh. actually um, based in Colorado at their headquarters, and uh, they kindly let us have it. We um, <coughs> put some multicam stuff on it, but yeah, this is the first one. So um, nice. it's amazing, and we put some of our Gucci kit on, so it's, you know, we got the, the aim point times three, comp M4, it's got our grip pod, um, and again, you know, the Masada has been massively popular, so we're really happy with it. So yeah, this is the first one. And this is all the kind of kit you can get for Yeah, your... I mean, you have the um, quick change barrel system. So at the moment, the, the only uh, different barrel is the 11.5, which is like the CQB yeah. version. Yeah, which is uh, the one you're holding, yeah? This is the one here. And then it'll go, um, we're looking at bringing out the 18, because the next Masada in the lineup is the um, CQB, yeah. which will be a folding stock and a short barrel. Yeah. So short barrel here, obviously with the folding stock, not too dissimilar to the AKM, but running on the 556 platform. Yeah. Yeah. And so then, everyone can use their M4 mags as they yeah, yeah. used to do. Yeah. And then the next one is the, um, is the PRS. So 18 barrel PRS stock um, and a different O receiver, so 7.62. Awesome. Right. Right, something we see little of in Airsoft is SR25 platform ARs. Uh, we've got one here that's been pimped out by ourselves. Yeah. yeah. Do you want to run us through this? this yeah. Game? The idea behind it was that we, um, our police and military division, used this product at our real shows. Um, so we're running. Uh, this is a Night Force uh, scope. That's quite um, an expensive back then. Yeah, I mean, it's not really, a, to be honest, not really a, an airsoft, but we just no. want to show, you know, the, the, the top end of what the market is. Yeah. So, yeah, you know, you're looking sort of in sort of £2,000 upwards yeah. for that. That's a scope. genuine one, yeah. It's a genuine scope, yeah. No wow. spec. Um, then you move on to the to the sort of other ancillaries like the torch. So we're running a, uh, this is a Surefire M620V. Yep. Um, which is IR compatible, um, and we just run it through our switching system, which is from uh, another company that we sort of import. Um, this torch will run at, it's run at 200 lumens um, through to IR, and then we have the new version, which is the. Uh, oh, I've seen these before, yeah. They've been in a couple of movies. You guys probably recognize these. This is the new uh, M720V, yeah. which is kind of a move on from the. Um, 
the 620 uh, called the Raid um, and again super high end uh, lumen output but the great thing on here is the selector switch yeah so the user can go from from the different options through to strobe and it comes with a multi switch as well so and that's, that just that attaches straight on your rail yeah straight to the rail oh that's pretty you know you don't get stuff like that huh? yeah which is great again and it's quick detach lever is it yeah just go straight onto any, any sort of ras rail um, and again, sort of all surefire uh, the, 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 the sort of top end of yeah. what I call illumination market, and also specialist in suppressors and etc. So we do a lot of this with the, with the, the army. So. Yeah, and you guys have got a website, right? Edgar Brothers. Yeah, yeah, yeah for a lineup of these. Com. Yeah, we um, most of the stuff goes to our dealers, so someone like Land Warrior, um, be the best place to go for this kind of kit. Oh, that's awesome. Yeah, surefire, just the top. Yeah, this is the. the um, these are actually pretty popular in, in the airsoft market. Yeah. So the concept of it is it's the X300, um, which will fit onto any pistol with a rail. Yeah. Um, and this pumps out 170 lumens. That's really bright. I don't <coughs> want to be so another end. Yeah. You have either a, a, a switch here, which just literally pressed, or you can get the switches which are attached to the grip or around yeah. the trigger. So you can still reach the trigger. Yeah, exactly, yeah. Um, and again, it can be just turned permanently on. Yeah. Um, yeah, amazing. We do the one above this, which is the X400, which has the laser built into the bottom. Yeah. Just a bit more money. <laughs> Need a small fortune for one of those. But so again, you can check that on the website. Is a, yeah, again, this is all. On our, all on our website. We're going to have a look at something less rizzy and uh, modern and then have a look at this new ICS Galil. This looks pretty neat. I like this gun from like old Counter Strike, it's pretty cool. So, what can you tell us about this? Uh, yeah, uh, this is uh, the ICS Galil, uh, full metal and real wood as well. Comes with the, the rail on the top, which is nice as well to make any sort of little optics, little red dots, or whatever else. Yeah, it's good to have some space, right? Yeah, it certainly is. Uh, one of the things I like most about this um, is this is. Uh, it's modelled on the, the gear like most of the way. You've got your working fast light, they're not both on that side, also on the opposite side as well. Oh, yeah, so yeah, exactly. You can like operate it with your thumb as well as your. your ah, I didn't finger. know that, had that. That's really neat. Yeah, that's cool. Uh, which is one of the problems that a lot of AKs and Galil's had in the past as well. Uh, yeah. so you had to take your hand off the pistol grip to move it. It's a man gun. So it's real wood as well, yeah? Uh, real wood as well, yeah. Ah, oh, stunning. I really like that. It's cool. It looks like it's been made with an angle grinder. <laughs> Alright, let's go have a look. Look at this. A bit closer. So a real man's gun here, as you can tell with the body here. Um, something that was pointed out before I forget, there's actually a bottle opener on the front of this gun, so you can uh, open your beer and slay bodies at the same time. <laughs> That's really cool. Uh, also integrated there is the, the bipod underneath, I'll fold it out, but it's a pain to get back in again. It's a bit wobbly, but apparently the real gun's like that too. Uh, plenty of res there, like you mentioned, to fit your scopes and stuff on. Uh, this bolt pulls back. Really nice noise. I'm really impressed with this uh, ICS. Are shaping up nicely. Uh, the finish on it is really good. You even got the markings there in some dub language I don't understand. Uh, it's on this side as well. But again, we'll get a little close up so you can see here. Your fire selector is also on this side, just on the grip, and that's pretty unique. I've never seen anything like that before. Pretty cool. Uh, folding stock. Uh, you need to be a man to open this up, and uh, I don't feel like that today, <laughs> so we won't be doing that. Mag release. Uh, I really like this. I fell in love already. Uh, really cool. Quite like the the GK99 that we reviewed before. And uh, yeah, cool. Might get myself one of these. That's it for a tour of Land Warrior Airsoft. I'd like to thank these guys for letting us come along. And uh, you can click on the 50 cal here to see their channel. Uh, all the links are in the description below. We'll see you next time. Everyone say buzz. Buzz. <laughs>